Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps here. And today we are going to be reviewing the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. Now, I have heard so many good things. This foundation definitely isn't new, but in the past, I had some trouble finding my correct shade. Everything just looked either too light or too orange, and it just it just wasn't right. So Maybelline did release 16 new shades, so I found one that looks like it's really gonna be a good match. Now, of course, if you're new here and you like beauty product reviews, um, tutorials, hauls, all that jazz, make sure you subscribe and you turn on your notification bell because I do live streams, so you don't wanna miss those. So here is this little bad boy right here, and I've got the shade 355, it's called Coconut. So this looked like it was going to be the best match for me. It was their darkest golden undertoned foundation. The other ones looked a bit red, which I know from past experience is not gonna work out on me. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna you know, prime my face and I'm also going to apply it so we can talk about it real time as I apply it. And then I'm gonna do about, uh, let's say like a five hour check-in because it is pretty late in the evening. So I'll come back in about five hours and then we'll see what it looks like. So with that being said, let me bring you guys in closer and we can go ahead and get started. So while I was doing my research about this foundation, I did see that some people said that if they didn't use a mattifying primer, then throughout the day, they ended up looking oily. That's of course if you have oily or oily combination skin. So, you know, that's just something to think about. I myself have oily combination skin, so I do get oily in my T-zones and occasionally like around my cheeks, near my nose, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. And this is a little sample size, just so you guys know, it doesn't come that small. <laughs> I think I got it in one of my subscription boxes, so, you know, I'm just using it up. So I'm applying it in all the areas where I get oily. I'm also gonna apply it where I get my smile lines and also right in the center of my chin. Okay, so when we take it off here, we can see that the bottle just looks like this. There isn't any kind of applicator, so I'm just going to pour this on the back of my hands. So I'm going to do half my face first, and I'm using the Eco Tools Beauty Sponge, which is really good if you guys haven't tried that yet. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other half. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like before I've even set it, before I've even added anything to my face. And I'm actually surprised. It's a pretty decent color match for me. It's not too light, it's not too red. It's It works really, really lovely. Um, so if you're looking at my neck, my neck is naturally darker than my face and my chest. That's just the way that it is. And oftentimes adding foundation to my neck usually doesn't work, it just stays dark. So you know, that's just the way it is if that's something that you notice. But as far as it matching my face color and the rest of my body, it looks really, really, really beautiful, which is honestly very rare for me. Now, we don't really know how this foundation is gonna last just yet. I'm looking at this in the mirror right now and it looks really beautiful. I love how fast it blended out. Even with a beauty sponge, I have some foundations that really take a long, long time to blend. <laughs> uh, but so far, this looks really nice. Of course, you wanna make sure you stay tuned because we gotta see if this is really gonna last. Because if it's not, then what's the point, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead, finish up the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be back after about five hours so that we can just talk about, as a whole, how this foundation performs. All right, guys, so I'm back. I've been wearing my foundation for about five hours now, and I feel like I can give you guys a really good, well-rounded first impression. First of all, I just want to point out a few flaws about this foundation before we get into the full scope of things. Now, you know, although the foundation looks nice in front of my studio lights, and I did take a few photos outside in which they looked 
absolutely beautiful and I felt like it really complemented my skin tone. Didn't look weird, didn't look too powdery at all. It was really, really nice. I found that when I was in low light situations, areas where the light wasn't, you know, hitting me in all of the right places, you know, as it is usually a normal life, I find that the foundation kind of has like a grayer undertone and you know this is interesting to me right because as you guys can look at this now you're probably like damn girl like it's a bomb but as soon as I turn all the lights off I'm just looking in the mirror and I'm like hmm something looks amiss here <laughs> now of course when you first get a new foundation you know every foundation works differently with different products so I think that I need to take some time and kind of work around with what I have in my makeup stash because I did set it with the Laura Mercier powder and also my MAC mineralized skin finish in the shade dark deepest now maybe those products just don't play as nicely as I would like to with this foundation so I need to take some time but of course if you guys have tips for what you set this foundation with please let me know. Now however that being said I do love this foundation like I am very very picky about foundations because I have sensitive skin and I haven't had the best experience with drugstore products so for me to say that I actually really love this foundation like that's huge, like this could be a really, really good everyday foundation for somebody and you don't have to spend a lot of coins. To me, I just feel like this is just the best one that I've encountered so far and also for my own skin tone. This foundation pretty much matches my actual skin tone as I am currently in this state. Of course, <laughs> it'll be a different story in a month and a half from now and in the winter, but for right now, I think it looks spectacular on me. And I don't have to feel like I have to try my best and blend it down with my neck or like blend it down into my collarbone. It just looks so natural which I love and also one of my favorite things is this foundation just blends out so easily you guys just using a beauty sponge or even a beauty blender it just is like kind of a little bit runny when you first put it on your face and dot it on and it blends out like a dream now I have some foundations where you really gotta work you gotta work those arms you gotta like buff it out like crazy and I didn't have to do that at all I was so surprised because I didn't expect that from a drugstore foundation you know so all in all I have to say this foundation gets two thumbs up from me I know I'm a little bit late to the game but you know when your girl found her own shade I was like oh let me slide this in a video <laughs> but let me know if you guys have the Maybelline fit me matte and poreless foundation what do you guys think about it do you love it do you not like it uh, can you not find your shade range um, and also how do you guys use this in your makeup routine because I'm looking for a better way to set this so that it doesn't have so much of a gray undertone that's my only only complaint but yeah I hope you guys really enjoyed this review if you have other products that you would like me to check out please feel free to list them down in the comments and don't forget to check out my beauty products reviews playlist I've got a lot of really amazing products that I've reviewed in the past so you want to make sure that you go ahead and check that out and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one bye